Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Other Half. So Other Half makes it down here, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't think anything crazy, actually probably when they got it, like they might've sold out if there's anything crazy. But uh, this was uh, canned about two months, or it's actually uh, seven weeks ago. And I got it from my uh, local store in Sanford and trying to think, was it Warm Shelf? I think it might've been Cold Shelf, I forget. But anyway, this is uh, Other Half Ain't Nothing Nice uh, DDH IPA 6.2. I think it's Simcoe Galaxy Mosaic. Yeah, I believe so. And then I, I looked it on Untap because I just wanted to find out the hops. Um, is this DDH Ain't Nothing Nice or isn't just Ain't Nothing Nice a DDH IPA? I don't know. Because I know they have versions of like literally the beers like the regular version and then the DDH version. This is just, I guess, the beer and it's a DDH IPA. Whatever. Who cares? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the beer is actually pretty nice. Comes in a light gold color. Um, they they centrifuge these days, so it has a really nice kind of attractive haze, um, sort of a, something that the uh, large regional craft breweries, when they do a hazy beer, looks like this. It's not completely opaque and murky, uh, not murky at all, actually, because you can actually like, like when I do this, I can see the shadow of my finger versus like the super super hazy ones, super saturated ones, like it just literally looks like um, turkey gravy. So. Yeah. Doesn't smell great, I'll tell you that. Um, unfortunately, this might've been off the warm shelf, I don't know. I mean, I get a little bit of zestiness, but I get sort of that kind of like um, base tone. It's almost like a brown aroma. I mean, general oxidation associated with like brown paper bag and all that stuff, but yeah, I've had this room before. It's just like, doesn't pop, doesn't have anything distinct and you know, not the best aromatics, but I mean, hopefully it tastes good and it's says not a, just a full on drain pour. Yeah, like uh, it's very spritzy light IPA at 6.2%. So it's not in that range of their double IPAs or their triple IPAs where it's like, um, I mean, now I drink it more. It has some kind of, that kind of like flavor that I associate with some oxidation. But anyway, the, the, the beer is pretty uh, spritzy and light. Yeah, um, as I drink it more, it has this kind of like I mean, I think it's a combination of oxidation and the high hopping rates. It's like this like bitter, um, bitter herbal note. Um, yeah, bitter herbal note. I mean, I, I don't know if that's intention of the beer or at least this New England IPA. It's just a very kind of like, um, sorry, it's a East, like a Eastern Asian medicine, dried roots, dried kind of like herbal flavor, bitter herbal flavor, dry bitter herbal ale. It's definitely uh, somewhat dominated by that, but not up front, it has a really nice kind of like um, fruity tone to it. It almost has this kind of uh, limoncello, um, uh, Meyer lemon, cantaloupe fruitiness up front. It's a very uh, spritzy, light, uh, citrusy flavor. That's like, you know, it almost drinks like it's like a fruity vit beer up front. Um, which I guess is sort of the goal, right? <laughs> fruity hops, uh, some amount of wheat or oats. So, and then, but the, the, the fun thing about it is it's 6.2 and super drinkable. I imagine this fresh uh, must've been really good. It doesn't have that um, kind of, you know, I like the range of New England IPAs. And sometimes when you hit the double IPA, I want it to be, you know, saturated with the, the malt flavor and have that kind of like balancing kind of like 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 residual sweetness to hold on to such a big hoppy beer. At 6'2", this really drinks almost like 5% and it's just like a crushable New England kind of guy. Which I guess I sort of forgot that other half does. Granted, I don't drink that much other half any of these days anymore. So uh, quite nice. Um, I don't think it's the best example of what the beer could be. But in the glass right now, it's drinkable. It's okay. Eighty-five. Let's go with a solid eighty-five. So other half ain't nothing nice. Um, again, I, I I suspect when this was fresh, it had a nice brighter aromatic to it, and then maybe didn't have that kind of like really lingering bitter herbal thing that I'm getting now. But uh, who knows? Until next time, guys. Cheers. Let me know if you've had uh, this beer or anything around the 6% range that other half does. And what does that taste like? Does it have these flavor characteristics I'm talking about? Or are they more generally a little bit more aromatic? Um, until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.